from the rip, not just late in the game. Blazers continue with the big lineup. We had a familiar starting five for the Lakers. Whiteside and JaVale McGee with... He hit that. Here's Anthony Davis. He'll pull a mid-range and knocks it down. Fires on his first three attempt. James pushes, gives it up all the way across the floor. Contavious called well. Pope hits a three. And if the Lakers Last play, you could tell that he put an emphasis on to make sure the ball is hopping to be crisp and to pay attention to detail. Hey. There's a block by Anthony. He's over for two. LeBron with a long three. Yeah, that one's down. LeBron James. I'll say to the mom, but thank you for what you did for the NBA. Uh, great to see the kids from the Mamba League as Danny Green, Los Angeles, out of the gates. Terry Stotts wanted to talk it over. And more of the same. That's a first shot by Damon. It's blocked. Bullet pass to Davis. Steps inside the three-point arc and knocks down another long two. That's five of seven shooting for L.A. Portland may have to make a substitution with one of their big fellas. Oh. As you see McCollum face to move out the way of penetrators when you're a big fella. And when you have one, great steal by Nurkic, you have a little more room. Nurkic all the way with a layup. Position for the Lakers. They've got eight fast break points already. That was a key for both coaches. And a turnaround is good for Anthony Davis. He's fouled. And a chance at three for AD. These are tough shots. They made six threes in game one. LeBron, despite a triple-double in his Laker playoff debut, couldn't hold off the Blazers as Nurkic with the putback. See how the paint just opened up there for Lillard, but at the same time now. Cullum gives it up, oh! and Mello took some contact. He wants a foul, none called. And it's a breakaway for the Lakers, and Los Angeles just makes Taking the traditional big, you've put AD at the center position and look for Nurkic to try to force himself inside like he is here. Oh, beautiful! Beautiful finish, and they're going to have to get some aggressive play with their defensive prowess. Figure this is go time for Portland now. Laker bench on the floor. His Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's touched. Throw practice for the Lakers, but they were getting to the line often. McCullum and Nurkic with the follow. Pre game. That, that looked like a little pass interference on that play. He doesn't have the red mesh jersey on, but he might as well. And coming out of that time. For them before they get thirsty, and that's how you help your team as a coach. As far as field goal percentage, set up your players. Good finish. Lillard in the corner with Contavious Caldwell Pope on him. And Lillard dumps it inside. White side there to clean it up. Set up his big man. Davis, he'll pull another one. Hit two of those already. Make it three. In the Here's White side. A spin and an elbow right to the chops of Anthony Davis. Really like that play call by so cool to see who's going to be in the virtual crowd each and every night there's Damian Lillard his first three-point try Lakers have 16 field goal attempts 16 free throw attempts an easy six year playoff drought first time that's ever happened in the NBA to go that long and then be the number one seed Contavious called well Pope hits a three he's awesome. hit one from each corner thus far he's got a quick 10 Anthony Simons, his first run in the game, and there's Whiteside, the turnaround. Could use anything positive going into the second quarter. Trent, he'll pull it. And he's counted. Hit that one. Oh, boy, they started this game in fifth gear, and they've kept it going, that 15-0 run to start it. Last three quarters for the Lakers, 106-76. They've outscored the Blazers. They are plus 30 in the last three quarters. It's a block party out there. One-on-one -on -one <laughs> in with White Side. And how about LeBron coming back on the other end in the rear view? And Kuzma says, oh, I'm not down. They had won 10 out of 12 games prior to the shutdown. Had wins over Milwaukee. Had wins over the Clippers as well. There's a big hit. Opted out of the bubble. Lakers understanding of, of that decision. No Trevor Ariza for the Blazers. There's Marquise Morris. Oh. Mello, pull up. Got it. Double in a losing effort in game one. Best scoring game in game three with 38. And he drops another three ball. And the Lakers just keep it rolling. LeBron James, his second made three. He's got 11. The Lakers are eight for 12 from three-point range. Nurkic wide open. Caruso running the point with LeBron 
playing at the two right now. Oh, nice leave. Beautifully set up. Marquee. Ball movement and LeBron doing his thing. And look at J.R. Smith with a steal up ahead. LeBron James. He'll take it all the way. LeBron James with the reverse. Oh, wow. he playing around. He's just, he just playing around. It's Mamba Day. He wants to make a wall, but when you build a wall, you still have to retreat back out to the three-point line. Nurkic leaves it for Carmelo Anthony. 2-1 in this series. Cross yeah. screen for LeBron right now. They're going to try to keep him involved on that post. Oh, top for Dwight. <laughs> calls of Coach Vogel. Assist number six for LeBron James. Howard's first basket. Here is Melo. Nifty move. He can, with his size and strength, really try to attack the paint and has to keep his vision, keeping other guys involved. Marquise Morris. After what's expected of us, nothing less than a championship, and I'm up for it, and I have to have a different temperament than I did when we were playing to just... Percent. 21 out of 33. You go back to that last playoff run, C.J. McCollum, and I believe he just got a technical foul. He did. Chris, you called it. You could see this boiling up in the first quarter, and C.J. McCollum called for the foul. Yeah, and we have some great... And Milwaukee... A disciple of George Carl. Here's Lillard all the way in. Lillard with the Lakers. Mavericks team in 2011. Both assistant coaches are now head coaches and doing great <laughs> right now. So there you go. In order to plow their way back. 18-point deficit, but against the Lakers, it's a different story. An AD on fire. Disrupted by Nurkic. In transition, the Blazers. McCollum, the crossover. McCollum all the way in with a reverse. Dwight Howard has post position inside. Three seconds, maybe. Wanted the ball. They didn't find him, but they get a three ball. And now Carmelo Anthony and Dwight Howard come together. Danny Green hits the shot. And then the whistle after. And this is what you want, your big fella. 15-0 to start this game. Lakers in the first four minutes have that big lead. Caruso all the way in. The layup. Lock to seven. He's got Damian Lillard on him. They clear it out. Help comes from Mello. Wide open Caruso. A three-pointer is down again. Overwhelming the eight-seeded Blazers right now as we approach the one-minute mark of this first half. LeBron James just shoots 76 points on the board. 18 from LeBron. He's got seven assists as well. Gary Trent Jr. with a three. He's from Charles Barkley. Developing as a story on its own right now. Absolute kiss of death as LeBron on this floor. Two opponents with 50 plus. Coming to the end of this second quarter, oh. LeBron James all the way in. That has been the theme of the night. The drives by the Lakers. Sixth time in NBA playoff history, a team has scored 80 points in the first half. As a foul is underneath arenas yes. in the NBA, I'll never forget. As long as I'm doing this job, the Incredible finish against Oklahoma City last year for this one after a dominating first half performance. Anthony Davis. No, LeBron rips down the offensive board and scores. And, just, and you can feel it in the locker room and everyone, coaches, upper management, everyone feels it. And group, but also compartmentalizing all of that to be able to compete in these playoffs here. Uh, there's, there's no question. And even in the last 24 hours, has continued to utilize his platform even though he is on the NBA campus. Well, as LeBron takes a deep three. Oh, my goodness. I just like this, Sharif, uh, to be in this bubble uh, while others um, are, are just senselessly being murdered uh, outside the bubble. These players can do both. That's right. Provide a wonderful distraction for those out there in the struggle so they can get back to work and continue the great work they're doing. Carmelo Anthony. Just to see if Frank Vogel... We'll try to get some more minutes. There's going up top for McGee. LeBron made eye contact, delivers it. James, that's number eight. 21 assists for the Lakers on 34 made baskets. That's going to be a foul. Nurkic sends it out to Carmelo Anthony, and the three-pointer is in, and a foul. Caruso to LeBron, and... He sets up McGee running the floor, and the layup is good. This is their so-called fourth uh, playoff game, but in my estimation, it's their 12th because those first eight, as you said, had to be uh, in playoff form. So here's Kuzma now, gives it right back. Good repost. James on the post up. And now Kuzma for three. He's got it. That's been a 26. Kyle Kuzma has hit his third three tonight. 
There's Carmelo Anthony, a little vintage Melo right there. Skinny. Not return tonight. He has a right knee injury. Again, Lillard will not return with this right knee injury. We'll have more as soon as we uh, get that from the team. Uh, happened at the 716 mark when he was replacing Luke Walton, who was in L.A. for three years. Hassan Whiteside, turnaround jump hook is good. Lillard has just had no answer tonight. Gary Trent Jr. gets it. others involved and let guys get a feel for how to continue to play off of because they're going to have some offensive struggles later on in this playoffs. Kyle Kuzma hits. Yes, someone's going to say you're not doing enough. You're never going to be good enough until we win a championship and you'll be the greatest. And just keep your focus on the big picture. As Danny Green for three. And he gets the friendly bounce this time. Feel good about his game. He's put up a lot of points in his playoff career. He's got over a thousand points in playoff action as Dwight Howard gets a couple of rebounds out of that. And Nurkic have been frustrated all night since the very first play when Melo thought he was fouled on a play and didn't get the call. And you've seen that frustration. And here goes Waiters. Yeah, he'll take it. Hey. First basket of the game for Dion Waiters. McCollum inside scores it. And if he and AD aren't on the floor at the same time, how would the others react? These are the type of plays, and this next 12 minutes can kind of. With the two dynamic stars not on the floor, they're just going to have to enjoy all of this. It's Winyan Gabriel who got the start. Yeah, and in these games, you iron out the pecking order. You iron out who's going to have the ball late in the shot clock, uh, what type of players there are, just like, you know. The day format in these NBA playoffs. Now we're set up tomorrow for the, got some sweeps in the East, but this Western Conference has gotten tighter. There's a flush by De Waiters, bullet pass, Kuzma open for three. And Howard there with the follow. Waiters just got all the time. And if the Lakers find another facilitator to give LeBron three or four minutes of rest, Whiteside just shot a three. What a wild year it has been for Waiters. It's self-inflicted in a lot of ways. He was in limbo with Miami. He was suspended for 50. First time ever opponent scoring 50 plus in a playoff game as his own year. Hits in this year as the scoring tandems go. And then for the Dallas Mavericks, as waiters, uh, magic in the magic kingdom. Heard, what a moment. Heard so many people uh, <laughs> talking junk about the Clippers on the last play of the game about a switch. Should Kawhi have. <laughs> you're so right. And, and first of all, there are some great coaching staffs here. All, all the coaching staffs, in my opinion, that really have some great guys. You will set of these guys increase all year long, and he makes them better players. Three pointer is good. That he, he was just an incredible amount of pain. It was hard for him to move. Uh, and, and Coach Vogel told us before today's game that little. Earlier today. And his last game, as Jared mentioned early March, it was March 10th. The last time he played in an NBA game was JR. That last three, then LeBron James on the side. J.R. Smith, Deion Waiters, players are trying to get back in the mix as Hizonia are fighting their way back down 3-1. They're going to have to have Lillard, but he exited this game in the third quarter with a right knee. And how they game plan their rotations. So far, it's Caruso who's manning that. But if there's anyone to ask to do that, it is Rondo. He can be that facilitator. That's why I was so impressed tonight. Way in the defense through his penetration to get others involved. All right, coming down the home stretch here is Horde with the putback on Wednesday night. We'll have it for you here on TNT. One last heave. Simons can't get it to go, and it's the Lakers by 20. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Los Angeles Lakers.